Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you five different Chrome extensions that we find are super useful for productivity. So let's get started. So the first Chrome extension that we wanted to show is one called Tango. And Tango is a productivity app that allows you to save workflows. And what this means is that you can basically capture things that you want to explain to other people in terms of how to do something on the browser. So this can be like a how-to guide or a tutorial or even to save the way to do something for yourself. So as an example, we're going to take how to download a template from our website. So if someone was asking how to do it and it's just hard to explain, then it would just be easier to capture using Tango. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have Tango on your Chrome browser. And once you have that, you can click it, then start capture. And once you start capture, you're going to get this window on the left hand side. And all you have to do is do your whole process with your workflow. So for example, for this, you would choose your price. And then you would name a fair price here. And then you would click get continue without adding. And then now we are on the product page and we can click download here. And the final step is to duplicate it. So now once we're at this step, we can stop the capture by clicking this check mark. And now we've created a tango. So what we need to do now is just to make sure that everything is good and that you like the text that's written here. And if you need to edit it, you can also edit it at this point. And if you're happy with it, you can just click save workflow. And once you save the workflow, you have the option to share and export. So if you wanted to share it with other people, you can just copy the link and share it. And one of our favorite features is this guide me. And if you click this one, what it does is it's going to guide you step by step on the workflow that you just saved. So for example, it's going to circle this choose your price and it's going to just guide you directly in your browser. So this really saves time for both the person making the workflows and the person using those workflows that you've saved. So we highly recommend this. It's really useful for sharing and for your own to save workflows yourself. So the next extension that we'd like to show you is one that is called Focus To Do. And this is an extension that allows you to combine tasks and task making with Pomodoro timers. So as an example, if we were to add a task, which is to edit a video, and you can choose how many Pomodoro timer sessions it would take for you to complete this task. So let's say we put three and then we press enter. So now we have a task here and we had another task earlier. So it's going to add the total estimated time over here based on your Pomodoro timers and how many tasks that you need to complete and so on and how much time you've actually spent already. And now let's say that we want to work on this task, edit a video, then you could just click this play button and it's going to start the Pomodoro timer. So this is a really handy way to keep track of your Pomodoro timers and have them link to your tasks. And it's great because you can just have it directly in your Chrome browser. So we highly recommend this extension. The next extension we want to talk about is Notion's Web Clipper. So Notion's Web Clipper allows you to clip web articles and then save them directly into a Notion database. And this is super useful because you could just be browsing the web and you find something interesting and without even opening Notion, you can save it directly from the browser. So as an example, we are just going to use Notion's Web Clipper and just clip this Gumroad product. So then we could go to Notion here and then we have this Habit Tracker Notion template and we're going to add it to a database called Web Clipper. So it's very important that you choose the correct database here and the correct workspace here to make sure that it's getting added to the correct place. And then all you have to do is click Save Page and we can go over to Notion to check that it's appearing here and it appears. And if we open it, we'll see that it's been saved like this. And 
The only thing with Notion's web clipper is that it sometimes doesn't work exactly the way you want it. So it might omit certain images or text. So just keep that in mind when you use it. And the other thing is that it's not going to edit properties. So it's really just going to add the URL and the title and hopefully the entire article that you're trying to clip. So always double check the article and if it doesn't show up the way you want it, you'll want to go back to the URL and make sure to copy and paste that article. The next extension we want to show you is called Momentum Dashboard. So if you click Momentum here, it's going to open a new tab. So this Chrome extension, what it does is that it basically gives you a dashboard whenever you click a new plus tab that's empty. So instead of the default, it's going to give you a nice background picture that changes every day, the time, and it's going to allow you to choose your main focus for the day. And it's going to add a nice quote. And you can even add to do lists here. So this is super useful if you just want a way to stay motivated whenever you're using Google Chrome that it's not the default, you get this different picture every day. So that's Momentum Dash and there's some customization that you can do, but it, it really works great straight from the downloading part of the Chrome extension. So next what we want to show you is one called Block Site. And Block Site is really good because if you have certain websites that you always waste your time on, then it's gonna actually block you from accessing it. So box site is really good for that. So let's say that we don't want to check Instagram while we're trying to focus on work, then we can add block site to this. So what we can do is we can go to block site and now we've already added Instagram to our block list. So all you have to do is click plus add to block list and enter any kind of web page. So now what we can do is if we go to Instagram, we're going to get blocked. So if we go to click Instagram, now we get this block on going to Instagram. So this is a really good way to block sites that tend to take time away from your focus. And this is going to maximize your productivity a lot so we really recommend this one as well thank you so much for watching and we hope that this was useful for you let us know in the comments if you have any favorite chrome extensions even ones that we didn't talk about in this video and we'll leave the links to all of the chrome extensions that we talked about in the description below and we hope to see you in the next video